Can you please define and explain what is the non-approach approach? Okay, the the Arjunrata non-approach approach essentially is well. Let me say it like this. Let me let me give a bit of a metaphor. The the, the way I've been saying it for a long time is that because I think guys can relate to this. And when I say this, they go, "Wow!" Because and, and I'm talking to my young self because I had massive approach anxiety when I was young. And so I didn't do it. So I invented a method that didn't have to put me down to, the, to that pressure. And, um, and that is this. The metaphor I use is it's like we're standing here and there's a, a road in front of us, an, an alley or a street. And at the end of the street is a pretty girl. Or maybe two girls sitting at a table. What? They're down there, and we're standing over here with our buddies, or with our beers, or with our something, and or, you know, with our. We see that, and what we would love to do is walk down this street, and be excellent when we arrive. Okay, to have something to say, not run out of things to say, to be funny enough, to be to to engage on an emotional level, all these great things. But the problem is this: it's a one-way street with a dead end. That's the way I envision it. You can go in this way, but you've got to come back out the same way you went in. And it's just as long. And so, we've, so, so now we've got a destination we've got to hit, and we've got to be excellent when we get there. And not only that, along each side of this street are these houses, and there's people in the houses that are le leaning out the windows and watching you walk, leaning on, on their elbows like this and watching you walk and watching you interact and watching your success or lack thereof, and watching you walk all the way back out. And that's a lot of pressure. That feeling is like, guys can understand that, that like I have to go down this dead end road, be excellent, hope it works so I don't look like a fool to her and to others, so that, so that I don't have to walk back out in this like dejected, I suck type of mode. And that, and that's a journey. You have to pack a lot of baggage. You have to memorize a bunch of techniques. You have to say, okay, my opening line is going to be this. I'll say these three jokes. You have to pack a lot of stuff so that you can nail it when you get there. And then you have to keep it going. How do I not be boring? How do I keep the interaction going? So how do you girls know each other? Blah, 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 blah. And, and, and we think, um, we think that we have to keep it going and we can't have any dead air like in a radio, you know, can't have any dead air. So you have to be on, on top of it and you have to keep rattling and, and, and banter and making fun of this and doing this kind of stuff. That's a lot of work, man. <laughs> That's too much work. And before that, you have to be on. You have to be in state before you can even do that. Right? You have to like get yourself pumped up somehow. So the whole idea of this non-approach approach is instead of going, looking at it as a dead end alley that you've got to be successful in, what I, the, the phrase I've been using for years is instead of going there and planting yourself, boom, like two feet planted, do you mind if I take a seat? All that kind of, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, am I interesting enough that I can stay and talk to you? Instead of planting yourself there at the end of that dead end street and hope it works, swerve by. That's, that's what all successful men do in this world with women, have been doing it for centuries, is they drop seeds everywhere they go. So they swear by, They're, they never, they are never invasive. And by invasive, I mean like, hey girls, you mind if I, because the girls are being polite. You talk to these two girls and they're talking about their boyfriends and you interrupt them and say, hey girls, blah, 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 blah. And I was, blah. and you're trying to say your funny stuff and your witty banter and this kind of stuff. And they're looking up at you and they're being sweet because they're nice girls. So they're saying, well, you know, like, yeah, it's, 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 what's your name again? It's nice to meet you. And, and, and now you think you're in and you keep going like this and they really want to just get back talking to their boyfriends, but they're being sweet. They want to be rejecting girls. So they want to be nice to you. Right. And so, and, and guys don't have, don't have this experience of the calibration of it. So they say, well, do you mind if I take a chair here? And they, and now they're planted. And so their whole evening of like, we want to talk about our boyfriends is like, well, we, you know, and they want to be nice to you. And because of this, women like have learned to put up these guards. And like say no, I you know we're you know I'm, I'm busy talking to my girlfriend. They have to be more more abrupt or more strong because guys won't get the hint otherwise when they're being kind and sweet. I, I can't tell you how many women have said you know 
I want to be sweet to, to guys, but they take it as a come on. It's like, now that's an invitation to, and I don't, you know, anyway. So the non-approach approach is stop being that invasive guy that's going to plant yourself and the girls might, might be sweet and, 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 and kind to you, but they're, now they're stuck with you all evening. Stop being that conversationalist, blah, 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 talk, 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 and I'll tell you some more about me and, and you know, this kind of thing. Instead, swear by, drop seeds. Like my example of the Polish guy in the last video, uh, or, or the French guy with the Polish girls, if you would just go by and say, wow, you know, I'm going to say something strong, because I'm a man, and I see three pretty girls here in front of me, you look great, you look great, you look great, fantastic, I'm glad I'm in Poland. Boom, you drop the seed, you say something strong that normally you can't say. Normally you think, well, I can't give a compliment, these girls are hot. You can't do that. I have to instead say, uh, you know, so, um, yeah, do you know a good bar around here we can go hang? Right? You have to do this generalization, this, this, this beige way of talking. Instead you say something strong, wow, I like this, I like this, I like this, because I'm a man, and you look like three pretty girls, boom, and you leave. Drop seeds and leave. It's like, it's like you're saying something strong, like I'm a man, you're a woman, I have, I have attraction to you, I have desire, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm letting it be known, and I'm letting that sit. And I'm not looking at your reaction or looking back over my shoulder. Guys have this thing with, with eye contact. I've been saying this for years, like say something strong and swear by, just keep on going. Just keep on going, just say something strong. Well, wait a minute here, you, I'm interrupted in my path of walking that way. Because you look great, and I just want to say it, you look great in your dress, and your friend looks beautiful in your red lipstick. Thank you, girls. Boom, you keep going. Most guys, and even when I've, when I've taught this, just, just keep going. Just keep swerving by, keep going. They say these things, and then they kind of slow their steps, and they kind of look over their shoulder, waiting to see if there's going to be a reaction. or a, You know what I mean? They, so they're still being that hanging on needy guy looking for a response from her. The strongest men in the world who have had women that adore them will 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 say things because that's who they are, not because they're looking for a result. In other words, their compliment has, has nothing to do with anything other than I like nice things. I like nice things and I'm saying it, boom. You look like a nice thing to me and I'm say that, boom. You can do what you want with the information, girl. It's up to you. Most guys, when they give a compliment or buy a drink, it's like, I hope that you will like me and give me something in return. But the, but the men who have that kind of, that have women in their life, and for centuries it's been like this, they just say statements, boom, you know? I, that's why they can compliment women highly who've heard it their whole lives, because it comes from a different place. Women have heard it, most guys they say, well, you have really beautiful eyes, they've heard it their entire life. And so they go, oh, that's nice, yeah, it just washes right over them, right? But, it, but not from that man who, who, who can, who can who's not going to hang around and be invasive for, for one thing, but he can stop and say, you know what, I'm going to say something. And it's gonna, in effect, what he's undertone is, I'm going to say something strong because it's who I am. And I'm going to leave it with you. I'm going to give you a gift of saying something strong, which is, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pausing you for a second, and I'm going to say, you have beautiful eyes. You've heard it your whole life, but I'm saying. It's, that's the spirit. And then he's gone. The whole point is, and guys say to me, well, how do we, how do we, how do we then get at that girl's phone number, right? Well, if, if, you, if you're just, what, what I'm trying to describe to, to people, if you're that guy who drops these kind of seeds of, of, of conviction, everywhere you go, say, hey, you're a pretty girl, you're a pretty girl, your friend's cute too. If you're that guy and you do it everywhere you go, phone numbers and these kind of things fall out of the sky. These things materialize it should, because it becomes the way you are, are being as opposed to something you're doing. You're speaking your truth and it is true. You're speaking great desire and the problem is guys think that desire is neediness and it's not. Desire is powerful. Desire is like, wow, there's something about you. I've talked to all the girls here and there's something about you that's really strong and I like it. There's something really attractive in you that I like, but I'm also not going to be invasive. 